We are pleased to present to you a synopsis of how artificial intelligence or AI can save any radiologist time with examples spanning the entire radiology clinical practice. We hope to highlight AI integration issues that you need to think about, including AI orchestrators and common data elements. This video presentation is new to RSNA 2020 and hot off the presses. We will be taking you on your tour. My name is Kirithi Magudia. I'm an abdominal imaging and ultrasound fellow at UCSF. And I'm Sean Sadek, a resident at the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm Terry Sippel Schmidt from Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thankfully, we were not able to find a single patient with all of the health issues needed to demonstrate AI. So we created Frank and Study, or Frank and Study. We trust that you will overlook some of the inconsistencies between studies for our patient. To better demonstrate the wide gamut of capabilities and opportunities for time savings available in the world of AI, let us start with a scenario. As on a typical day in any given hospital, a patient arrives to the ED by ambulance with altered mentation and slurred speech. After initial assessment by an ED physician, stroke is suspected and a stroke code is activated. The patient is immediately evaluated after admission in the ED and the physician orders a CT head without contrast. The patient is sent to the radiology department. In the radiology department, the radiologist sees the incoming order on the Siemens Healthineers Singo Workflow SLR, which proposes stroke protocol CT head without contrast and CTA head and neck. The radiologist glances at the patient chart and quickly and easily selects the accept button passing the protocol exam information to the technologist, saving critical time over the course of the radiologist's day. Note that the protocoling radiologist always has the ability to override the AI's primary choice with the protocol they think is the best. The patient is transported to the CT scanner. The technologist sees the AI refined protocol. The scan begins with a non-contrast CT head acquisition. After the administration of IV contrast, a CTA head and neck is acquired. Once the study is complete, the scanner sends the images to GE Centricity PAX. The PAX notifies the Blackford Analysis AI platform to retrieve the study, which, in turn, invokes the Siemens Healthineers AI RAD companion for CT stroke analysis. Acting as a bridge between PAX and AI analytics, the Blackford platform informs the GE PAX that the AI analysis is in progress and, when complete, sends the AI results to the PAX. The Blackbird AI platform is useful to efficiently integrate between a PAX and multiple AI algorithms. In this case, these systems are more efficient because they conform to the IHE AI workflow for imaging profile. As a result, the studies are not replicated and resent as often, saving valuable time. As you can see on the GE Centricity PAX, our patient Franken study is listed on the work list in the order it was acquired. Initially, Hemorrhage AI detection is performed on the non-contrast head CT. No hemorrhage is found, so an aspect score, a metric for determining severity of early ischemic changes in the brain, is calculated. Next, plot detection AI algorithm is run on the CTA series, which detects a large vessel occlusion. The Siemens Health and Ears AI RAD Companion CT Stroke Algorithm sends the HL7 message to the Blackford Analysis System which then informs the GE PACs of the three main findings. Based on the acute results, this exam is moved to the highest priority on the reading work list. The radiologists noticed that our CT head and CTA head and neck study has been flagged on the work list. Hovering over the flag icon on the GE Centricity PACs reading work list, the radiologist sees the message indicating pertinent findings. To avoid bias, the radiologist first reviews the study themselves. On the non-contrast head CT, the radiologist does not identify hemorrhage and determines an aspect score of nine. When reviewing the CTA, the radiologist identifies a large vessel occlusion in the left MCA. The radiologist next displays the detailed AI results from the Siemens Health and Ears AI RAD companion for confirmation. The radiologist notes that the study was appropriately prioritized on the work list optimizing report time for this time-sensitive diagnosis for the multidisciplinary stroke team.
As the radiologist begins to dictate the report into the smart reporting system, they realize that the relevant data has already been entered into the appropriate section of the CT head and CTA head and neck report. The radiologist has the option to either accept or reject the AI results on the GE packs. For instance, although the aspect score of six is determined by the AI algorithm, the radiologist edits this to the aspect score of nine that they calculated themselves. So, all of the integrated findings and interpretable AI results sound promising, but how do we get there? There are really two foundational layers to consider, system interoperability or transport, and data that has real meaning. The good news is that we have help with both. For system interoperability, international standards are evolving to address AI. These include DICOM, HL7 Fire, and IEG. There is a new DICOM object to represent segmentations and images. There are new fire observation and consent resources to record measurements and structured data. In IHE, there are two new AI interoperability profiles, AI workflow for imaging and AI results. The vendors in this particular demonstration that you are viewing are using methods moving towards both of these new IHE profiles. IHE also provides a supervised inter-vendor connect-a-thon so that you are not the person testing these systems for the first time. But you need to ask your vendors for these standards when you upgrade or purchase systems. True interoperability, however, is much more than just systems sending messages to one another. These systems need to speak the same language, which is where the RSNA ACR informatics stack comes in. This technology stack consists of report templates, common data elements, and a radiology lexicon, respectively called RAD Report, RAD Element, and RAD Lex. These building blocks ensure accuracy, completeness, consistency, and reusability. Starting from the bottom, RAD Lex is a lexicon or well defined system of radiology terms. Common data elements, or CDEs, are collections of terms. CDEs effectively define questions and sets of possible answers. RAD Report provides radiology templates, often based on modality and anatomy, and indexed by procedure codes. Investing in unifying terminology based on standards within your department will allow codes to flow from ordering to protocoling to reporting to billing in your EHR and to AI research data sets. But now, back to our patient Franken study. Stroke team completes their evaluation of the patient who is admitted to the ICU. While in the ICU, the patient is short of breath and a portable chest radiograph is ordered. The images are sent to the PACS and the AI platform, which passes off the image data to the Lunit Insight Chest X-ray AI algorithm. The Lunit AI algorithm surveys the radiograph for multiple findings, including consolidation, pneumothorax, and pleural effusion. For our patient's chest X-ray, the Lunit AI algorithm detected a left apical pulmonary nodule, which is displayed. These results are also sent to the reporting system. Several weeks after initially being hospitalized, our patient is sent for a non-contrast CT chest for follow-up of an incidental left apical nodule found on the prior chest radiograph. This chest CT is opened on the GE centricity packs. In addition to the known left apical nodule, the Siemens Healthineers AI RAD Companion Chest CT algorithm automatically detects and quantifies additional pulmonary nodules with the RSNA common data elements. In this case, the specialized Siemens AI Chest CT application is opened. The radiologist can review each AI identified pulmonary nodule and either accept or deny a particular nodule, such that only the accepted results are transmitted to the PAX and radiology report. Declined AI results will not be stored. Each analyzed pulmonary nodule is segmented with measurements and automatically added to the report, saving significant time for the radiologist. Additionally, the AI RAD companion also provides analysis for thoracic aortic diameter and vertebral body heights, alerting the radiologist of other incidental findings. Once the AI results are accepted, they are sent to the AI platform and packs for storage. These AI measurements are also sent directly to the smart radiology reporting system. With this innovative system, the radiologist spends less time measuring pulmonary nodules and dictating these results. 
But most institutions will need to prove return on investment for AI applications to be adopted. The IHE sold profile or standardized operational log of events provides interoperability and data semantics to collect events from all of the systems in your department. This allows insight into how your department is really operating. These events can then be brought together to be graphed for your institution to answer questions such as, how often was each AI algorithm executed? Did the report turnaround time decrease when AI was used? Did the report turnaround time decrease when templates and CDEs were used? Was the time to communication of acute findings reduced? And much more. You need to ask your vendors to implement IHE Soul. Products such as the Philips Performance Bridge quality application are moving towards the standard and can graphically represent productivity and other business metrics. Now, back to our patient again. As Frank is preparing for discharge, he is given the option to participate in an AI research initiative for stroke detection by consenting to share his medical imaging. Using the Philips eConsent product, he reads and signs the research investigation form, which is then stored as a fire resource. This consent form, images, and reports are then discoverable by researchers. Speaking of local AI testing and our AI researchers, as you begin to purchase AI algorithms, consider asking your vendor detailed questions about the data cohort used to train their algorithm. Building an AI test set from your own data may be critical to selecting the best algorithm for your institution, but AI algorithm testing and refinement requires very large volumes of data. And recent studies have shown that 70 to 80% of AI testing and research is actually preparing the training data. This preparation includes annotation or creating AI labels manually or directly from structured radiology reports, verifying protocol name variations, tracking modality manufacturers and models, and verifying population diversity. Keeping track of all those variables manually is not a time savings. But if your data is structured and uses the RSNA, ACR, informatics lexicons, and common data elements, preparing your own AI validation and test sets will be faster and more accurate. Let's look in more detail at implementing AI testing and research at your own institution. Let's look at the XNet application from Washington University in St. Louis and the NVIDIA Clara software development kit both of which can be downloaded. The XNet product can assist in gathering cohort data and de-identification. NVIDIA Clara SDK can be used to annotate or label data sets, fine tune and train AI models. And finally, one last note here. In this demonstration, we have looked into the future. Some of the products which you have seen are FDA 510K approved, have CE marking and are available for sale today. Some not. We hope that you have enjoyed this tour of AI applications in the radiology workflow with particular emphasis on time savings. From protocoling to work list prioritization to identification of critical findings and auto report generation, AI has great potential to significantly improve the day and the life of a radiologist. Thank you for taking the time to watch this brief video. We hope that it suggests how AI will save you time in the future. Goodbye from Sean. Kirthi and Terry at RSNA 2020.